This year's Breast Cancer Awareness Month arrives with an extra push to help overcome some of the setbacks that have been caused by the pandemic. That's right, because so many women have put off getting their routine mammograms, delaying their diagnosis and potentially life-saving care. Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with new research that points to the importance of timely treatment, Doc. Yeah, Kim and Devin, so early diagnosis is of course critical because breast cancers that are caught sooner are easier to treat and ultimately cure. But a new study also suggests it's important for that treatment to proceed in a certain way. A Cleveland Clinic study finds total treatment time matters when it comes to breast cancer survival. Most of the original time to treatment studies were looking at individual aspects of care. So what was the time from diagnosis to first treatment? what was the time between the different treatments. But we hadn't found any studies that looked at what was the time from diagnosis to completion of all treatment. Dr. Deborah Pratt is a breast specialist and the lead author on the study. Researchers looked at more than 28,000 breast cancer patients who had surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation. They discovered if all three were completed in less than 38 weeks, there was a higher five-year survival rate compared to patients whose treatment took longer. Pratt says this builds on previous research that found poorer outcomes when there was a delay in starting treatment. It also emphasizes the need to identify why treatment in some cases is delayed. Another interesting aspect of the uh, cutoff is that cutoff was um, good for no matter what type of breast cancer you had. So if you had um, different receptor patterns of your breast cancer, it didn't make any difference. So we should not triage patients based on their different types of cancers because every patient can have an effect on their outcome if we're taking too long. Now getting a mammogram or finding a lump or another breast change and getting it checked out is obviously the first link in that chain. So I really strongly encourage you not to put it off any longer. It really can be the difference between a good outcome and a devastating outcome. Yeah, yeah. and, and Frank, what impact is the pandemic having on, on making sure that timely care is actually happening? Well, you know, Kim, in the early days of the pandemic, a lot of that care was sadly delayed. Now, hospitals are desperately trying not to do that now, but honestly, in areas of the country where COVID cases have become overwhelming, it is still having an ongoing impact on people suffering from other illnesses. Yeah. And that, of course, includes cancer patients. Yeah, Back to you. We've talked about that. Okay, Dr. McGeorge, thank you.